Hi, 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 hi everybody. This is for moms. If you're a mom and you're trying to get your life back together, uh, be it work, uh, be it, uh, it could be career, it could be your business, it could be anything that's going around for you. If you're a full-time mom and you don't have help, when I say help, I mean you focus on building your brand, building your business, bu focusing like putting hours in a day. Don't try to do it by yourself. Get help. Get help. Help means you get someone to watch the kids um, whilst you work on what you need to work on. You have to realize that when you look at people who are winning at the game and when i say winning it just means moving uh their needle um getting more stuff done their life is structured usually in a way that they're not focused on doing things that don't move the needle for them what does this mean if you wake up every day and you focus on things that don't move your business that don't improve your brand that um are just basics you know it could be cleaning up after yourself it could be cooking for yourself cooking for family uh it could be uh being there for your children as a parent no matter how much you dream if you don't have that handled you're going to struggle so if you're a person who's trying to get back on the saddle or trying to get stuff done delegate stuff that takes away your time or if you do stuff in a day look at what you do in the day what do you do when you wake up how do you spend the time in the day and when you look at how you spend time in a day look at people who do that kind of stuff as a career and how much they're they paid to do that so let's say if you're trying to make a uh, 500 if you're trying to make even a, a million dollar business or whatever amount is there look at at what your hours and input into that business or into that thing or the brand the output it would bring out and compare it to the things you do in the day the normal things and see if that is really Mommy, helping you get to your goals you this is my daughter coming in Hi. yeah I, Hi, I was a little cold, so I've got the heater on, I was in the blankets, I'm warming up, I'm heating up. And so if you're a parent, if you're a mom, and you're really trying to get it together, uh, it could be even, sometimes it could even be dressing and anything you do. You really have to prioritize things that help you move the needle you really have to prioritize things that make uh get you to move to the direction you're going so everything that you do i'm sure is important but you have to find things or you have to focus on things that other people can do for you that you can do to change where you are right now you really have to focus on that I am with my daughter 24-7 and speaking on a personal thing, I am a warrior, I am a, a warrior with some chicks here, it is good and I am I'm a very um, narrow minded person when I'm working like I tunnel, I focus on one thing and I do one thing. So personally, I know as a mom, multitasking at the same time doesn't work for me. There are other people who do it good for them. I know what works for me and I know what doesn't. And you have to find out what works for you and you have to lean into that. But if you're going to work on your brand, your business or whatever you want to improve in your life, you have to find a way to put time for that aside. I'll tell you, if I'm working on something... Normally, it's going to be between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. or 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. Because that's the time I get complete silence and that's the time my brain can work. But if there is a child running around and, oh, it's just a little bit tough. So, hint, ladies, or anybody who's a parent, if you're trying to create something, 
and uh, you've got kitties running around or you've got other stuff you you're doing you have to mix things up get someone get someone to take care of things that take your time so that you can have the time you need to create the life you want otherwise if you're always doing the same thing you end up with the same results all the time you end up with the same results all the time so find a way to make it work you can do it yeah so any of you here who's a parental and uh, working on something let me know let me know yeah it's a little bit cold today i've just turned on the heater and i'm trying to warm up um yeah i was just thinking and thinking and thinking planning and rebooting sometimes when i try to multitask or when i've got too much going up there i get really bad headaches so when i sit in silence i start tuning my thoughts and you know shutting down some thoughts and managing what i'm thinking trying to manage it as much as possible and it helps me relax i don't know how you do it or what you do but that's what works for me um yeah so is there something you're working on is there something you're trying to do and i kept on saying ladies because i'm working for something that's uh, targeted towards ladies and normally it's choosing the life they want or how to navigate their life or change the course of their life if it's going in a place where they're they're not happy whether it's uh being a wife or whether it's being a mom or whether it's um whatever they're trying to choose to show them actually the outcomes on the past there because some people do things every day and they're in that pattern without questioning where it leads and in the end they don't like what kind of life they come up with and it's just like what happened so actually looking for lives with intent which is amazing so who's here with me i can't see yeah just yapping a little bit i can't see who i have unfortunately Mm hmm but i'll be heading out now uh we'll go and get some coffee or water or something should be amazing whoever is watching uh write a comment and let me know what are you most passionate about what drives you? Have you thought about it? Have you uh, given it time to mature? You know, with thoughts and realizing what you're passionate, what you're passionate about it, or what excites you. And please don't say beer. Anything but beer. That's an easy target. Do you leave for the weekend? Or what are you working towards? Let me know. And for the ladies watching, parent or not, I want you to think about uh, these things that I'm going to tell you. Three things. Well, three is this. I did this. You see, three. So I would like you to think about three things. Um, what uplifting the lives of people in their enterprise... Oh, Mr. Andrew, yeah, that's amazing. That's good. But before uplifting others, do you uplift yourself? That's a question. Do you uplift yourself? Do you, um, what do you do to uplift yourself? What do you do to refuel who you are as a person? What do you do um, to energize your soul, energize yourself? Apart from prayer, don't say prayer. Apart from prayer and beer. <laughs> because when you refuel yourself, you can be there for other people much stronger and a better version, a more calm version. The better you are, the better you'll be able to help. So what do you do to uplift your life? What do you do to um, nurture yourself? Let me know. 
and again the better you are the better you are for other people as well so when you're working on yourself or when you're doing stuff for yourself it's not just all oh, me 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 no it's I will be better so I'm better for my kids I'll be better so that I can uplift other people and be their example as well so <laughs> yes I do okay I take time out to sit and think reflecting is one of the biggest things ever it's one of the best things that's a good one I like that one thank you that's amazing I like that you reflect, you know, uh, looking into it, some people don't take time to reflect on their life and refuel, so that's a good thing. More people should adopt that. Let's reflect, let's uh, look at our lives and be better. Oh, Marjorie says, I am passionate about working hard and he helping others too. Oh, that's beautiful, Marjorie. I like that. That's a good one. Remember, yes, helping others, but remember to refuel yourself too. And remember to work on yourself as hard, harder than you work on other people. So when they see you, they see a light. When they see you, they see someone peaceful. When they see you, they see someone who brings joy. But no matter how much you want to help people, if you're stressed, if you're tense, it's a bad energy. You can have the best intentions in the world. If you don't fix what's there, you don't fix your emotions, you don't really work on just, you know, helping yourself heal, helping yourself be a better uh, person for others, the energy you carry, ooh, that also affects other people. So you should always uh, remember to do that for yourself. Yeah. You know, what I like to do is, my best way to refuel, to be honest with you, is alone time. When I'm alone, I get just some time to refuel, think, reflect, just like start letting go of thoughts that I keep on running. I become much better. I speak much more better. If you see a video I'm making like this, the more it's quiet or not even quiet, the more I'm alone in the zone, you get to see me and you get to hear me. Put me around other people. And I'm always worried about everybody in the room to a point where I do not speak this fluent. I do not always sound this confident because I'm not in the zone. I'm always calculating and thinking about everybody else in the room. About sometimes not offending, which I don't like about myself, by the way. And I've been working on. Maybe one of you can help me either. Marjorie or Andrew, I don't know. One of you has to help me. <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, one of the things I was thinking about today is I see both are from Zambia, so I'll, I'll, I'll talk about Zambia. Is when you look at the weddings, you look at the parties, uh, the drinking, and everything that happens in the country, you can think Zambia is one of the wealthiest nations in the world. But why is it that the world, the country that's suffering the most, the economy and everybody, there's, there's, the abundance there is not so much. Why is it that it's more flashier than even others that are doing better than us? And it's almost the same concept where you see people and individuals where we have this thing where we're so busy portraying good we're so busy trying to portray comfortability and matching up to the living standards that everybody's trying to put out there some which most of which actually are not even right it's just for the camera for the internet and it's harder to sustain the goals we have it's harder to sustain helping families um I wonder if there's something that could be done about that to change that culture where we can actually be more authentic, be more open with each other, work with each other and help each other than pretending everybody is super wealthy and everybody has got Bugattis and they've got the Bentleys and Rolls Royce outside packed. But when we all know that 
sometimes you have some deals that work others you don't but it's about a work in progress I wish uh, we were more authentic and open with each other that's why at times when I come on I come on with the intent of being as open as I can but at the same time say things that maybe will help someone that is stuck or they keep on just receiving negative energy and news and stuff like that where somehow I hope my thought process would help another person you know Andrew the same way you trained your mind to master the art of martial arts you applied in the room setting of people focus on why you are there keep calm and focus on your thoughts thank you thank you thank you uh that's true to be honest with you most of the energy you see with me in spite my chubby cheeks that i've got from eating a lot here and not working out as much i use the same energy and the same mindset when it comes to um training the mind the reason I watch around people, which I shouldn't even be doing that much, is naturally when I'm in the zone, I am a very, um, for lack of better words, I'll use ruthless person, where I can be really intense at times. And sometimes it's hard for people to learn or hear you when you're too harsh. So when I talk, I come from a point of view of, okay, I don't know what I'm saying, if it will make sense to another person. So I try to say it from a perspective where other people can receive um some knowledge some hints where they can self-improve or sometimes just the positive vibes because if i'm if i bring out the full throttle me like when i'm just straight to the point and crass some people are sensitive you know on the internet there's so much negative news where it's overwhelming and as a person who's trying to drop in some hints, some knowledge and learn at the same time i realize that i've got different audiences going through different times right now and every time so when i come i really try to check myself when i'm in a room i try not to be oh i'm almighty this is what i'm thinking and let me just throw it out there it's how can i say this in the best way how can i carry myself in the best way where people can actually get what i'm trying to give then people feeling offended because if I'm all me, 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 then I, I'm, I'm not a good team player. So how do I put myself in a position where other people are looking forward to working with me as well? So, but, but I do understand this. <laughs> Keep calm. I'll start the meditation. I can do that. But Vandru and, and, uh, Marjorie, what time is it there? Tamulala. Hmm? Oh, yeah, are you drinking? That would be interesting. Let me know. So, that's it. If you have kiddos, uh, you have, um, you focus on things that really don't, that are keeping you in the same place. Find a way to be in a, find a way to focus your energy on things that will change your life. Uh, it's one of the things that I've, been trying so hard right now to work on I've been trying so hard to work on that You know, one thing I should try is when I'm recording, I could use the back camera instead of using um, the front one. That way I don't look at myself. It's 
2 a.m. Not really. It's actually 1.50. Imamu wa sema ni kuzambia. How come one is 1.55, one is 2 a.m.? Someone is stolen 5 minutes. Either someone is 5 minutes ahead or 5 minutes behind. But you two should go to bed. Otherwise, mkambe nchito ya wugad. So that you are up in the night. Sister mwa kwa totul. But I'm enjoying it. It's nice that I found two people on. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you should change careers in a total. What languages do you speak? Um I speak Bemba and English. I don't speak Nyanja. I don't understand Nyanja. Uh what languages do you speak? And um Yeah, what languages do you speak? Andrew has stolen time. <laughs> Andrew, you've stolen time. Give it back. Stop taking the time. Wait, let me see. I'll see who's right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, Marjorie, your time is right because mine is 7.57. Meaning, Kuzambia, it should be 1.57. Going to 1.58. Kopala through and through it's thinking time. Oh yes, it's true. Thinking time. That's so true. Thinking, reflecting is very important and it's vital. The other danger of not thinking and reflecting is you can end up um repeating the same cycle without realizing it. But sometimes it's just good to look back and see what uh you did great, what you could improve on. And uh, not stay in the same loop, I think. Because you don't want to be in the same loop. You don't want to make the same mistakes over and over again. What, what do you do right? What are you going to improve? It's always amazing. Though, self-criticism and over-analysis as well is not good. Um, if you over-analyze, that could be a little detrimental. So... Yeah, you can reflect, but not too much. Plan and then just go, 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 go. <laughs> Hi, Timby Florence. It's 2 a.m. in Zambia. Why are you awake? Hi, Aaron Silungwe. Why are you awake, you guys? But I'm happy to see you. It's always amazing. Who's out? Who's drinking? Who's reflecting? Who's praying? What's your What's your story? And everybody on this chat who's uh, in a place where it's 2 a.m., we should start rethinking careers to being bodyguards or night guards since you can't sleep. Why not get paid for not sleeping? Once it can get into time, we will do the same thing. So, yeah. Okay, so this is for the ladies. I'm going to say something for the ladies. Ladies, there is one thing that I've realized. You know, I've had so much learning over the past um, few years. And I keep on evolving so fast and I'm changing and learning so, so rapidly. That at times I'll say something and within two or three months I would have evolved from the thought. That at times it's hard to, hi Tumbi, it's hard to keep up. So ladies, there's something I'm going to hint you today. Whatever lifestyle you're looking for, whatever drive you have, um... I'm going to encourage all of you to work on yourselves in a way that be the positive thing around people and not the not the problem. Invest in yourself, ladies. I will tell you um seven years ago, if I saw someone who's all about me, 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 me. I couldn't stand such a person because I told myself they're so selfish. Why, why are they always on themselves? What about others? What about others? What about others? But then I've come to learn and realize and experience it 
that if you don't take care of yourself, ladies, to la poa, we finish. To la poa, kwa tichite nge tele la ilio ba washa sana tele la ina. Lea sale puka kwa ta. So, regardless of what you're doing, whether you're taking care of others, you're helping others, although everybody, we all try to sound like Mother Teresa's. I've done a 360 where I really emphasize take care of yourselves. Find a way to nature who you are as a person. Find a way to, you know, uh, invest in your looks. It could be your hair. It could be sometimes to a man that, oh, okay. Do I just buy cobra munganda or uh, do I get uh, a hair extension or do I just buy cup powder or whatever? Ladies, let's take care of ourselves. Nami papa da. Please take care of yourselves. You can take care of the home. You can take care of uh, people around you. I'm not saying don't do that, but please nurture yourselves. Nurture yourselves because if you neglect yourself, you have to know all you have is your life. You can buy a house, you can buy a car, you can even be given all those things. But at the end of the day, once you are gone, you are gone. All you have is your life. And you have to realize, we ladies don't finish well. We don't finish well. So whatever you can do, Alamandi, people will... will who complain people will, will have an opinion but take care of yourself in a month in panoine i can even in that don't talk anymore to one i'm to all effect at you could board him but in four years old i'm being i'm being a little uh, dramatic here but where i could just work on myself and stuff like that but as a mom i have a tendency and a neat thing where i always want to make sure my daughter is okay and that is very important I don't feel bad about it. I know it's just a matter of time. But ladies, take care of yourself. Inganda cobra mukashi mukamukashinga panshi. People will step on. Sometimes see the sacrifice you will make so that you can invest in yourself. Whether you are married, especially when you're married, because when you're single, your biggest priority is how you look. Uh, apart from things around but you don't have a family you don't have a husband to worry about maybe some ladies who don't have children you don't have children to worry about so whenever you have money it's makeup whenever you have money it's lotion whenever you have money it's uh good gym 5 a.m 4 a.m you're in the gym qua, 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 hot body to my boobs pa, you know you're there and everything is just you're struggling but when you have it's on you but when you're married or when you're a mom, you have to decide, do I buy powder? Do I buy something for myself? Or do I buy my daughter a jacket? It's cold. Um, do I buy fuel in the car? Do I buy food? Or maybe can I help a, um, a sister, a family member or someone who's struggling? We always have this. But what I'm telling you, find time to nurture yourself. Find time. And what I'm going to say, again, find a way to be a little selfish. Where you can say, okay, you know, I need this. It doesn't break or make me, but I'm taking care of myself. Because as a partner, no matter what a man says, oh, he loves you, the way you are, or whatever he's going to say. You want to be your best self, not your worst self when you're with a person. Remember that. When you've got kids, you invest all kids, 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 and it's very good. But at one point, someone wants to show off a mom that looks confident. Uh, the kids get that. When they grow up, they'll start becoming you again. If you're always crying, you're always complaining. That's the legacy you're leaving to them. That's how you're showing them on how to carry themselves. So be there for others, but find a way to take care of, of yourself. As a woman, I made a big fuck up. Mistake. Sorry for the language. Years ago, if you came to me, I would never even put myself on a list of priorities. 
my feelings, my emotions, my looks, my they were never even on a list. It's everybody else. And at the end of the day, I got to see why Fueva Nakashtupuila got to see. I got to experience why women are bitter. I got to see why men get bored. And I have many things for men as well. But here I'm saying ladies because I see most are ladies that I have on here. So whatever you can do, take care of yourself. Alate kwesha. Kwilava. Kapauda. Mwashtako tumi shishifidia. Maybe two weeks mwashtako kobra ya munganda. Kukulia kadiketa ni mlefu kubika. Mwashtako within budget so tukwa shala kuna yo maybe. Wayako fidia. Whether nika massage like treat yourself. Don't just wait for someone to come at no when I find someone and then they'll do everything for me. No, start doing it for yourself. Even now ni panon panon. And then put yourself in a situation where if someone is coming in your life, know what you want. Know what drives you, know what motivates you. Because once you're in something with a person. We women have a tendency where we're, we're very nurturing, we're very giving, we worry more about everything around us, and that's how we forget. So put a system in a way, because it's, 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 it's almost against our nature, naturally. And when I say because there are people who, they don't know how to think about others, they don't know how to think about, it's always themselves, them, that's their natural you guys are pros who think like that. I'm not talking about those, but those who are when you're in love or when when you're in a relationship, baby, don't. Nala <laughs> lila. Nala lila. I'm I'm just sharing. Nala lila. Don't neglect yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Spoil yourselves. Mwila kwata sana akaso towards yourself because ingana we kwati la kaso and you want other people not to come for akaso over you. Um, you can have standards in your life of people you want, lifestyle you want, but start stating that for yourself. Say that for yourself. Uh, put yourself in a place where People you're allowing are not taking you down. You're either maintaining or you're growing. And for men, since I have some men here, I'll drop some hints for you as well. And I think I've said this before, but I'll repeat because different audience know what you want and work hard not to live or find yourself in um, poverty because as a man don't get women who are in amazing situations and then you try and degrade them be of value to people who you take in your lives know what you want know what you want um, because if you want to be a leader and you want to lead someone, you can't lead if you don't know where you're going. You can't lead if you don't know your direction. If you are not one day, left, one day, right, one day, left, one day, right. So, know what you want and understand who you are. Whatever you are, whoever you are, it's not your problem. It's not anybody's business. I mean, it's your problem. It's not everybody's business. 
embrace who you are if you're going to be someone who's just out there having fun good for you if you're out there who's serious good for you it's your life whatever but know what you want and don't put yourself in a situation which works against you you know and live like that there's nothing wrong with it you can do you if you want um to focus on building your legacy abana benwe kachula ngamwafwa nangule oh fira tola to isha to bakalusha bali pangeshi na kalusha wali akudi bola oh this person made uh, a name because of this if you are there to leave a legacy and a good name for yourself put your energy towards that you know so Morris, I've noticed you almost shared something emotional about you and you almost started shedding tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Your past is similar to mine. Also made a big mistake before, but this time around it's my time to nature. Eh, hey, kokolapo. Major. Yes, you take care of yourself and your son. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, another thing I'm going to drop that I've been thinking about a lot lately. You know, I have this thing where there's so much that's there that I want to share. And sometimes I get so caught up in um, daily things that are happening around. That I don't share myself this much with the internet as much. But there's something I'm going to say to the ladies. That's going to seem very harsh. But it's actually empowering. Oh, a fruit fly? There's a fruit fly here. Mm, ladies, when we find ourselves in a situation with... Um, Hi, sweetie. This is my darling. Hi. <laughs> When we find ourselves in situations where, uh, with partners, because the women who are always complaining, no, men, 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 whatever, men, this, men, that, men, and whatever. Um, after some growth and um, analyzing and seeing, I've realized we should stop blaming men. And we should start blaming ourselves a little bit because... We have to educate ourselves. Hi, Mr. Andrew. We have to educate ourselves on knowing who we are. You know who you are as a person. You know what you like. You know what kind of life you want. The, the, the time you become clear of what you want in your life, and then you start learning from people who are living a life you want. I understand Zambia things are a little bit tricky because... Most girls, them winning in life is having a good shoe and a good outfit. You know what? Let me let me remove the sound like that. There. Most people in Zambia, ulusapa to na outfit nishvari enderela. Ngabasa bika pufe na sausage and chips. What can you say? Like a pizza. I understand. You know, when you live abroad here, and now there's internet, so even in Zambia you can get this. There are no more excuses. Let's just educate ourselves. Put around systems that help you go where you want to go. And that's knowing that you have to have your values set right. You have to have... Um, systems in your life which stop red flags and we have to learn we ladies have to learn to stop making excuses and playing the blame games where we have okay if things are like this no if things are like this yes like you have to know what works for you and what doesn't work for you but one thing we can't do is blame men all the time Stop blaming men and be better. How do you become better? Know who you are. Know what you want. 
know what you will entertain, know what you won't entertain. And when you decide on what you want, who you want to be, what you will not entertain, other people's opinion is none of your beeswax because you know what makes you happy. You know what will keep you um, excited about life. For example, there are different people to look at. There are different people to look at who you can say, okay, but they think they want to go. Okay, maybe fear. And I'm going to win a man to a quarter of a piece. I'm going to win a man to a quarter of a piece. I'm going to win a man to a quarter of a You know, that's how they get along. Thank you, Maurice. Uh, that's uh, fine. Once you know what you want and once you find out who you are, what drives you. For example, at one point in life, I am a very ambitious person. Very, very ambitious and apologetic. You know, like, if you put me in some situations, I will not feel anything because I like, I like, um driving for better i like better in myself and if you put me in a position or situation even if there is a lot of money but it's just gossiping about other people judging i'll get bored that will not work for me i like people who are positive i like people who fight themselves and better themselves that excites me i want to know about myself i want to be a great mother i want to be a great partner how do I become a better partner? Um, and it's about building legacies in, in life, you know. I know that now. But if girls and men took the time to find out who they are, what they want, you would have less time for crap. So like for some people... Their best life is getting drunk every weekend. For them, that means they've arrived. They've achieved it. They've got everything they want in their life. And there are people who... Um, they're building generation wealth. And other people, you know, when you look at people here, you look at the Obamas, you look at the Clintons, you look at Abena Dangotoko, you look at uh, Nelson Mandela. People who've made legacies, you know. And sometimes, once you make a choice, automatically you say no to other other things. So, like a person like Mandela, for example, I'm, I'm using big names so that everybody can know. You won't find that person in a bar every weekend because they're on a mission. Fila fila into once you really find your your why, once you find out what you want in life, and once you understand what works for you, trust me. A bar every weekend won't be the most exciting thing in your life. When you look at people like Amina Beyonce, you look at people like Oprah, you look at um, Michelle Obama, it could be as a wife, it could be as whatever it is, but something that drives you and you develop yourself. Trust me, Kafuaka every day, no water, it doesn't become the highlight of your life. Like that's, it doesn't even make it, it's a different world. I'm not saying don't drink. I'm not saying don't do what, but just finding what drives you. You know, you really have to find that. I've got a daughter, but I know for me, it is their generation wealth, not to masters to like a man. So, pa, 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 pa. How can I contribute towards that? How can I be an asset to the people around me? How can I better myself? And when you come with that perspective, it's, it's a different game. I love good things. I always say it. I love Chanel. I love Gucci. I love uh, Prada. But those things are not what people will talk about me even 50 years after I'm gone or whatever time. It's about what impact did you leave? Like what legacy? What did you do? And sometimes when you think of your great grandmothers or whatever, you say, mm, Okay, but she was a good mom. Okay, she mm, she was a good partner, you know. Sometimes it's showing up for others, but you have to be your best self. 
And if you don't know what drives you, if you don't take care of yourself, how can you be there for other people? Ngamudi bakashi or a girlfriend kumi fisat e habataba. Kuba fisako. My dear, the problem with some African ladies is that they see married as the greatest. That's a problem. That's a problem. I agree with you. And I think in Africa, the way people idolize uh, marriage is really kept us down. I think the way people in Africa have idolized um, tradition has really kept us down because there are things that don't make sense you know we have to debunk we have to look at what time are we in what doesn't what makes sense what doesn't make sense sometimes you see people for example who are getting married and they go and make a fifty thousand dollar wedding just to show people they can't even pay their bills sometimes you just say okay what works for us what what can put us in the next stage what can help us Hmm? <laughs> yeah different drives for different people what i'm saying is you can like material things or whatever it might not be the things it could be a car it could be a bugatti it could be lamborghini it could be a Rolls royce it can be um you want a private jet when first class desires start from somewhere and then when you achieve it you look at oh what's the next step what can i do next oh what's the next step but whatever motivates you whatever it is it doesn't matter that's a point there is no such thing as no you only have to like this you have to like this and then you're good no different dive drives some men and some women like cars, some like clothes, some like whatever it motivates you, jump on it when you attain that. So like for example, there are people who are quite, they've always wanted a belt or a designer's outfit. After you have those things and you're like, this can't be there, this can't be it. What's the next stage? What's the next stage? So you just open yourself up to growing, that's it. But whatever makes you drives you to move from stage one or stage five to another stage take it don't judge yourself look at what works for you just that and what i'm saying is not rule of law or everybody should follow this or whatever it's different for everybody some people were born to be mother teresas you know we can feel wapita helping uh, orphans or whatever ulala pamsebo and that's the life that's your legacy but you touched many people you were there physically for many people sometimes the way you help others is not just financially it could be other ways so what i'm saying is not oh you must like this or no 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 what i'm saying is how can you fill up yourself so that you can help other people because sometimes i'll give you an example <laughs> um You can be physically there for people, which is very good. But there are times when you find people, you know, some people don't have food or they're struggling. And you can sit there and be hungry with them. And at, at, at some point, it, it doesn't work. So you give what you can. If a person needs time and extra hand, yes. If a person needs... um food and clothes standing next to a person doesn't automatically bring food and clothes are you teaching a person to fish are you teaching a person to do some business are you teaching a person or giving them a job whatever it is so whatever drives you to want to do more or become better that's it take it take it but for ladies like i said take care of yourselves mm -hmm. Take care, of, uh, take care of yourselves. It's really important. Maurice, if you like food too much, you have chicks like me. The only thing that uh, will save you is one, because I see Maurice, I think you're a man, meaning you can't get pregnant because after having a kid, some of us 
struggle a little bit to bounce back because we're so focused on child 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 and we never give ourselves time to really work on ourselves so you can eat all your food maybe feel a sunguri kafi now by foy now kwa taka mwana now we gala fi pamonye just eating that's also not good so this has been fun So I see a post from Lisa saying anyway miss you but I don't understand this post but I like it. Thank you. I don't know what I posted. Sometimes I just post for the sake of posting. I yeah, sometimes I just post for the sake of posting that's it. Uh Mr. Andrew, good night. Okay, start your prayers until 6 a.m. Okay. Thank you for watching. Good night. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. A question from Morris. A good a question. Would you prefer to be financially comfortable where you can manage fi financial problems and also a bit of struggling or to have plenty of money more than you can use? More than I can use, baby. I would want more than I can use and I'll tell you why. When you have more than you can use, you don't just live comfortably, but you're able to take care of family, it could be parents. You have to remember I'm a mom, I've got one child. If I have more than I can use, then I can take care of my child. and i can save some money for her and she can have money that even if i die she doesn't have to go in an orphanage or become a beggar so the more the merrier the more you have the more you can help that's why i say i'm ambitious i just for me just having a house um uh paying my bills is is not the end it's not you've arrived it's a way of life but apart from taking care of yourself are you able to take care of others and still be comfortable so the more the merrier okay okay so i'll start exercising i start and then i stop but i need to work on my consistency yes you're right totally right on that one okay so let's look at what we talked about today uh repetition for the ladies take care of yourself take care of yourself make time for yourself those three for the men know what you want understand who you are and the type of lifestyle you want to lead and then don't do things that contradict what really drives you and who you are just that Um thanks for watching. I am going to be signing off. It's been amazing having you guys watching. It's so amazing. I love you all. Thank you Maurice for the questions. Thank you for participating. <laughs> oh, by the way, what are your full names? My full name. <laughs> Thank you. My full name is Pauline, last name Connie. Those are my full names, Pauline Connie. I think that's what my profile says. That's my full name. That's not a pretend name. So thank you so much for watching, Maurice. Thank you for watching, Andrew, Nisa, Brighton. Who else did I miss? I had some ladies. I had Marjorie. I had a uh, Linda. Oh, Linda! I didn't see this name. Kisses from Malola Jusa. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Kisses back to you. Thank you. And I had Tumbi watching from England. Yay! Hi. How's England? It's also cold. Getting cold like here. Hi. 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 Um 
I watched from oh I I watched from I see oh so Lord says I see Adrian hi Adrian thank you for watching I see Aaron um I'm trying to make sure I say hi to everybody this is not so many people I think I could say hi to everybody it's not like I have a bunch oh those are your real names yes they are on my birth certificate and uh, yep her real name no funny business <laughs> okay so I'm gonna say goodnight um, have an amazing one thank you for watching I appreciate all the questions contributions so amazing if you know a sister brother who can benefit from my message share this if you know someone who forgets about themselves and always neglect themselves share this like it